Bonjour, ça va tout le monde. This is Little Theo bringing you some War Thunder, and I'm gonna be playing a realistic battle in the uh, SB2M100. Now, I really haven't done a whole lot of bomber gameplay, but I've noticed that on YouTube there isn't a whole lot of bomber gameplay, so I'm gonna be bringing you some of that. We are in the SB2M100. We're gonna have six 100-pound bombs, but that's 600 pounds. 500 pounds. Yeah, we're going to do that because that's going to give us the most bomb load. Now, what I do in every single game I ever play uh, is anyone want to fly cover with me if I'm a bomb? Uh, for me, if I'm a bomber. Now, if I'm not in a bomber and I'm in a fighter, I always ask if someone wants a wingman. So, what is our mission objective here? Help the ground forces capture the airfield, protect the bridge until allied tanks go through, don't allow enemy tanks to go through the bridge. This is Korea, so I assume that my pilots, you know, as far as history goes, would be Korean. They still look, they look Russian, they should have gave them the Japanese guys, right? I am at 2,800 meters, but I'm going to try and get a little bit higher than that. And I do have my temperature gauges on. Oh, uh, I think they added a cockpit for the BF-110. I don't know if that's new or not, but I just noticed it the other day. And I noticed that on the forum, on the War Thunder forum, they are adding new cockpits. That's what I saw mentioned. So, looks like nobody wants to fly. Wants to fly cover for me. But there's only I-16, I-15, I-15, and a LAGG. And that's it. So, besides that... I mean, a lot of those planes really aren't that great. So, I hope I can break out of this cloud cover. I don't know if I'm going to have to go up or down. I might go up. Now, this bomber I have found in arcade to, just, to be immensely sturdy. So, I don't know how it performed historically, but I'm hoping that... Man, the cockpit looks pretty cool already. I'm um, hoping that it doesn't get shot down. Okay, there we go. There's uh, the cloud cover. I'm hoping that it doesn't perform too badly in historical battle. Because I have not played a bomber in historical bomb battle besides the BF-111. Or the HE-111. So, it does not look like anybody wants to fly cover. It looks like everybody's going to kind of do their thing. And I'm going to try and get right out of these clouds. There we go. Now, I'm going to make a comment. I, I'm uploading some Battle Stations Midway videos soon. I want you to take a look at them because I'm going to make some comparisons and contrasts between Battle Stations Midway and War Thunder and a couple things I think that they could take from the now defunct Battle Stations Midway game and give to War Thunder. And one of those things is that when you fly a bomber, you should have three bombers. One bomber that's you, and then one AI bomber over here, and one AI bomber over there. That being, Why? Because as of right now, bombers as an individual unit don't necessarily garner the attention, especially in realistic battle, where they know you're going to have to drop all your bombs and then come back, drop all your bombs and come back, you don't really pose that much of a threat until after they kill all the fighters, and it shouldn't be like that. You should have to to load up the game, and if you're in a fighter, see a bomber and a fighter and have to make the call of what you want to get because you because one of them's going to, or they're both going to do damage if, you, if left alone. Now, if you give them three bombers, uh, you know, if you give a bomber two other AI bombers, it's going to increase survivability, which bombers already have a very low uh, survivability, and then it's going to give you some added lethality. So it's going to make you a target, which is kind of what you want. And it, because when you have that lethality, you're actually going to be able to get something done. But those are just that's just my opinion. So we are going to hit these bombing points here, I guess, because that's what it says. It's a bombing point. Man, I can't really say, see anything up in the clouds. Yeah, man, get up in the clouds. That's cool. That's cool, man. I'll use back on the throttle. See what you're going to do. Because I really like when people fly cover for me. kind of helps me out. He's going away from me, though. Guess we'll speed up back to 100%. Has anybody got shot down? Nope. 
Hmm. And I think that they should give them the realistic bomb count. I'm pretty sure. I don't know historically, but I'm pretty sure that this this bomber had more than 600 pound bombs. Okay, two other guys. I want to break this cloud cover. Kind of see what's going on on the other side. So I can actually see what I'm supposed to be bombing. Dude, this cloud cover lasts forever. Okay. Ugh, now I'm going to have to dive. Please hit something. I can't even aim the bomb. It's just flying all over the place. Man, it's not going to hit nothing I didn't want it to hit. Ooh, I did destroy something. Okay, we're, you're done. You're done. You're about to die. Yep, you're done. Yeah, sucker! Uh-oh. I am a little damaged. Look at my bomber back there like a boss. So, ooh, I'm going the wrong way. That's for sure. I need to go this way to get back to base. Ooh, so I did destroy, it looks like, three of them? No, just one, but I did shoot down a plane. <laughs> so we're going to fly back. Now, our engine is smoking a little bit, but it looks like... It's only P-26 for our I-16. supposed to be the 1950s in, in Korea, and we're playing in 1930s planes. <laughs> really interesting. Hey, what are those on the front? What are those? There is the air base. <laughs> All right, so we're going to try and go back to base, and hopefully by the time we land and come back, there'll still be some targets for us to grab, so. Also, please go check out my Battle Stations Midway videos that I'm going to be uploading within the next couple of hours or days, depending on when I upload this video, because... The game's only like seven bucks on Steam if you like it, and it. Uh oh, I thought I was going down for a second. And if you do like it, there's another one you can get for like thirteen bucks that has a lot more called Battle Stations Pacific. But I wanted to start. Uh oh, my water in my my second engine is overheating, so I'm gonna ease back on the throttle. The reason I say that is because. The game is really reminiscent of War Thunder in some certain aspects. Maybe not necessarily at the present, but I know what what War Thunder is going to eventually look like, you know, with the World War mode, I guess. And I think there's some stuff that some War Thunder players could really learn as far as possible mechanics if uh, you take a look at it. So go check my videos out. It's going to be awesome. And tell me what you think. So I'm going to try and land this big boat. I do like landing. Landing is a cool part. But I wish everything was a little bit closer together. Because at the current size of the game. With the current size of these battles. You know you don't really need this huge map. Maybe if the game, the game had twice as many players as it currently does. But in the current iteration. I don't really think we need this huge map. Where it takes everybody... 37 years to get where they're going. So how is this? What? Mission objective failed. Don't allow enemy tanks to go through the bridge. I don't even know where that was at or what happened. So Now look at this bomber guy. Like his head's got to be freezing. Right? Whereas this guy's just chilling. These guys up here are like, oh man, I don't see nothing. 
And the guy in the back is like freaking out. So we're coming in. We're going to get down to about 280 and then take her in. And I, yeah, I really think with Hey, yeah, what we get? Protect the bridge until allied tanks go through. Awesome. We're still pretty far, but and we're we're picking up speed. Man, look at look at those 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 uh lengthy gear are long, aren't they? So I'm gonna bring them down. Ta -ta -ta. <laughs> really, if you added two AI units that just followed your plane on kind of a rail, you know, did whatever you did or engage in a firefight when you did, the game would last longer for everybody. It'd be more fun. The battles would be bigger. If you died, you would still have two lives left unless one of your AI got shot down. You don't have one life left, you know? I think it would just make it a lot funner. But that's just me. I don't really know anything. Okay, is that's the runway. I'm coming in. Easing back on that throttle. Here we go. Bringing her in. Get the fuel pumps and the bombs ready, boys. Because I'm going to need you to put, put them on quick. Whoa, my... <laughs> my first engine just shut off. Hostile team has lost all of its aircraft. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I hope it was semi-interesting. You know, I'm always going to be uploading new videos. Check for my battle stations midway videos. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. This is Little Theo, and I appreciate you watching.